What's going on everyone? Mastermind Gaming coming at you with another video for Pokemon Sword and Shield. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about how to change the weather inside of Pokemon Sword and Shield. Now as everyone knows, weather in this game has a pretty big impact on what Pokemon show up, not only in the overworld, but what can appear in the grass as well. And one of the uh, bigger areas that you can come to is actually over here in the Lake of Rage in the wild area. And this is going to be a good example to show you here because you can see that there's an evolution here. It's Flareon. And if you already have a Flareon, you might want to get a different one of the evolutions before you actually have the stones. Or you just want to get one at the higher level that starts at level 60 if you've already beat the game. Now one of the things to keep in, to keep note of is that this does not actually break the game at all. <clears throat> it's just going to be a simple little trick. You can actually wait till the next day because every single day the weather's actually going to change um, for you. So if you just want to wait it out and just capture one evolution every day or capture whatever Pokemon in that weather situation that you want, uh, you can do that and that's certainly an option. However, if you do want to speed it up a little bit, it's pretty easy to change the weather in the game. All you have to actually do is click the home button and then actually go over here, go to your system settings and then when you're in your system settings, you're actually going to go down to your system settings and then once you get into system settings you're going to go down to date and time and you're actually going to turn off the synchronized clock and you're just going to go ahead and go forward a day so you can just bump it up one day and then whenever you actually go back into Pokemon Sword and Shield you're actually going to see that the weather's going to actually change live whenever you come back in so now there's a sandstorm and now you can see there's an Umbreon here instead of a Flareon so this is just a quick little easy way to actually go into Pokemon Sword and Shield and um, change the weather. And if this video is helpful to you or if you want to know any other tips and tricks about Pokemon Sword and Shield, please leave a comment down below and I'll be happy to get back to you. And I'll see you guys in the next one.